hey, we about to give you some steps, and steps, some steps, some steps. So what are we about to do right now? So we're gonna do a quick reaction to uh, this video. Uh, lady, actually the first one is like a, a date night dress outfit. So if you look at this outfit, so we got the casual one and they also have uh, the classic one. If you're going to date, which one would you choose? So that's the two, that's the two outfit for the day. The second question is like, uh, there's a lady with uh, no seat of greatness in her. She trashing her boyfriend about the money. So we better just give you the details of why the guy may not give you some money and what was the reason why behind it. All right, just so stay tuned. See, in life, you can go through life, you can come up with reasons or you can come up with results. You can come up with excuses or you can come up with achievements. You can go through life blaming or you can come up with solutions. The choice is in your hands, satisfaction or despair. We can choose that. That's the step <laughs> to be successful video clips. Our first, so we better watch the, the video, but before we start watching the video, uh, at this two outfit, if you were going on a date this week, which one would you choose? Would you go with the casual one or the classic one? So that's that's the two options for the day. Uh, so let's go watch the video and I'm gonna tell you like what's happening and what's going on. All right, serious question, y'all. Yeah. For people in a relationship, me and my boyfriend always get in a fight over money, bro. Okay, okay. mind you, I'm not broke. Like I, I'm, I'm not broke. I am broke right now, you feel what I'm saying? But well, I make good money like is what I'm trying to say. Go. And all my money goes into my bills. It's just after all my money goes into my bills, I usually have nothing left. So I picked up three jobs, right? But my boyfriend didn't like that I was working the three jobs because he felt like I wasn't around my kid as much, which doesn't make it. A quick question is like, I mean. <laughs> how is it possible to work at three jobs? That's the question. Is it possible to work three jobs? If three jobs, that's when you work eight hours of three jobs. Or maybe they got one full time and two part time. That's what I'm thinking. But anyway, so the thing if you do three jobs to take care of your bills, that's mean you have no seed of greatness in you. Let me explain what what does seed of greatness mean. So that's mean like you live above your mean. So if you have three jobs to pay your bills, and you still broke. Money is not the issue, though. The issue is, is in your uh, is in your mindset. So you don't know how to, maybe like, you can't control money. Maybe you don't have knowledge about money. Because there's no way if you have three jobs, plus you have the boyfriend that's working, how are you still broke? The only way you could be broke, unless if you live above your mean. That's mean like uh, you try what maybe keep up with the Joneses. That could be the reason why you broke. That's probably the reason why maybe the men don't want to give you any money. Because the thing is that if you live above your mean, that's mean like you try to show up or try to maybe like, I don't know what you try to prove. That could be the reason why that guy don't want to give you any money. Any sense. But anyways, nevertheless, um, also, um, I had to quit a third job because getting a sitter was becoming a little bit difficult because everybody started working um, in the evenings. So anyways, me and him always get in an argument over cash. And mind you, I'm only ever asking for cash on my off days. Like, if I'm paid, I'm good, right? See, that's the issue. Because the issue is like, if you work three jobs, after you get paid, next day you broke, Something is not working. Your money, your money management skills is not working. I'm wondering what your credit score is like. I'm wondering, it's like, so if, if you spend all that money on what? If you got an apartment, which is too expensive for you, you could go down and just pay less. That's one. So second one, second thing that you can do, you can do uh, either you just do go an apartment, you just pay less, or maybe you do uh, what's to call it. Uh, maybe you could do if you spend a lot of your money on like things that's not asset. Maybe you could slow down on that. 
maybe you could slow down on like maybe Amazon Prime. Maybe like if you buy a lot of stuff, just has no value on it. Because I'm sure there's no value on them because the reason is like if you do three jobs and you're still broke, something is not working. Your money management skill is not working. But I think, I think that's the guy for it too because the thing is like, I think before you become his girlfriend, he should have known that if you get the secret of greatness in you, that's mean is if you're not living above your mean, if you're not trying to just keep up with the Joneses, he should have just make sure those things in place where he was vetting you. Vetting mean like, uh, shout out to Mr. Locario for, 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 for the word vetting. Vetting is like, you got to make sure like, okay, if these, if I'm getting her as to become my girlfriend, which is, if you become a girlfriend, put it on you by be a fiance, maybe a wife. There's a lot of things that you got to make sure that uh, she have those things in place. The first one, I mean, thing that's really, really uh, in place is the financing. Because a lot of women is like, yo, they don't, they don't know how to manage their money. So if they don't know how to manage their money, and this is like whenever they find a scam, guess what? All the burden is going to just fill up on you. As you can see, let's keep watching. On my off days, though, I do be asking him for cash. And I'm not talking about like hundreds of dollars. I'm talking about 10, 20, you know, maybe 50. And it. How? Because if you got three jobs, you get paid. You need 10, 20, 50 dollars. Something clearly is not working. It's not the boyfriend for it. It's your fault. So you just got to know how to manage your money. Figure out like where all the all your money go. Majority of the time, it's to be put back into the house, right? Or it's to be put to good use. Like I'm not asking. You What's the good use, man? So what's the good use? If you just had three jobs, maybe you got three jobs like the jobs not make you any money. So if you got three jobs, if those three jobs not make you enough money, it's just two jobs not make you enough. Because the thing is, to have three jobs, is, I don't know how it's possible, but worst case scenario, I mean, if it's possible. So you got three jobs. One job supposed to pay your bills. The second job supposed to be for you to save in to do maybe something you're working on, maybe to buy some asset, that's what the second job should be. Third job, if you have the third job, third job should be enough, just like this money, the third job and second job, those should be combined together, put this money on the side to if you have some, some plan to buy some asset. But the thing is that if you got three jobs, the money pass on like the utility bills and tomorrow you just, you broke, Clearly, your money management skill is horrible. Or maybe you don't have the seed of greatness in you. That could be the issue. Because if you don't have the seedness of greatness in you, of course, that's what's going to happen. That's when you live above your main. You try to show you're not showing up. That's, that's probably what the issue is. Him to get my hair done. I'm not asking him to get my nails done. He doesn't even get any of that stuff done for me. Like but the thing is, like, I mean, clearly, though, the thing is, I mean, I'm talking to the guy. If you have a girl to be your girlfriend, if you got to give her money to just get a nail done, hair done, then all this little tiny stuff, clearly she's not qualified to be your girlfriend. This little tiny thing shouldn't just like come to you at all. Why would you just like worry about like somebody want to get a hair done? What's that guy do with you? So if you, the boyfriend, you got to give her money to just like, ah, oh, man, to get her nail done, it's just like this little like, what well, I mean, basically things that's not even worth anything. If you're going to just like, you just cloud your mind with all this stuff, it's not worth it. Why? So that's the reason, like, I mean, if they think, if, if, if any girl should be your girlfriend, ma like money management skills should be, I mean, one of your top priority. For example, like the thing is like for a girl to be your girlfriend, maybe you might be required for her to have at least minimum, like maybe $20,000 on a, on a saving account. So if she got $20,000 on saving account and she don't have a student loan, her credit is good. Say her credit is like maybe like seven twenty. Those little things, those little tiny things, like you shouldn't worry about them. Because you should have like some big goal or some, some other things to work, you know, working toward. 
not just just get the hair done, get the nails done, just little tiny thing that's that's worth nothing. Clearly, I'm, I think the guy is like, maybe he just realized that he's just like, why is just why is she's becoming your girlfriend again? Come on, car. Like he does none of that for me. Like if he does something for me, I have to ask for it. You feel You're what I'm saying? Do it. But I don't feel like that's right. And I get mad because every time I ask him for money, he wants to explode or have some type of reaction that just triggers me. And I just want to know, like, I mean, what needs to trigger you though? Uh, what has to be triggered you is like ask yourself the questions where are your money go where's your management skills to your money that's what should trigger you though so i think like the thing the thing about the guy is like whenever like you you maybe come to the subject of money the reason why mess like you don't want to talk about it because when they look at you what you do with your money you just wasted and and his money when he work hard for his money he's not going to give it to you for you to waste it as well why would he do that but the thing is like his mistake is like he should have known that before he become before he make you his girlfriend that's what he should have done but the thing he didn't do it now he just come up with a price do you females ask your man for money and how is that transaction like is it a fight is it normal to ask your man for money like how much money does he give you you know what i'm saying does he treat you to get your hair and nails done like my man literally most likely i think it's like when you have a woman it's like maybe any girl that's become your girlfriend he don't if she doesn't have the seed of greatness in her she shouldn't be your girlfriend she shouldn't because the thing is like there's this little tiny things about like hair done, nail done. It's like let's, this little tiny thing is like shouldn't just come to you at all. Once she got a priority straight. So the thing is that the thing about it, I think like based on like what information she just gave, it's like she's living above her mean. When she live above her mean, guess what? You're gonna make pay the price because the thing is, if you're with her, and there's somebody like those things happen. And the biz has to pay. Sometimes you have to step up to make it just to make the difference. If she live with you, but the thing is, like, if she become your girl, like in twelve months, I mean, like, how how she gonna live with you though? But that that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, he does nothing but keep his money to himself. Like, and it's annoying, and he's very Mr. Krabs, and I don't like that. And I don't know. Nah, when you say that man is Mr. Krabs, it's not. Maybe he's just no like, because the thing about it is like, he's not gonna. I mean, usually, like, if you go to work, you work at maybe you work 8, 12, 8, 10, 12 hours a day, and you see all your money just come wasted, doesn't make it, why would you want to do that? But the thing is, like, I mean, when you're... yeah, that's the, the thing is, when you want to, why you want to do, why would you want to do that? He's not meaning it's crab, he's not meaning it's cheap. There's no one is cheap on this earth. No one. He just got to know where he's spending his money. So the thing is that he wouldn't mind just give you the money to take care of the money if you have the management skill, money management skill, if you had that, if you had the seed of greatness in you, if you just live below your mean, not living above your mean, or maybe try to keep up with the Joneses, maybe you'll be the one who take care of the money. But since you're not the one, guess what? He has to do it. But I think I blame him for that's his fault too. Because the thing is, like, if he knows that you can't take care of that, you don't have any money management skills, I'm sure he knows that. How would you become his girlfriend again? So you, most likely you didn't get the vetting process. So shout out to Mr. Locario for vetting process thing. Let's go. If that makes me sound shallow or whatever the case may be, but no, I, I want to marry a provider. And I feel like providers you know will help out and also he doesn't like to talk about his finances bro how are we supposed yeah but the thing is, you're not qualified for him to talk to his finance with you because you can't even manage your own so you got three jobs you got three jobs you still broke why would he want to talk about money money with you clearly it doesn't make any sense but that's his fault too though
because that is his fault. But the thing is, how would you do that? I mean, if you know she can't manage no money, she can't even do anything, why would you give her that responsibility? Why would you give her the responsibility to become your girlfriend? Come on, man. Supposed to be getting married in the future. If you. Nah, marriage is, is, marriage is not the issue. No, no, no. I don't think. I don't think she'll marry you. No, 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 no. Unless you know how to, unless like you do a 360. That's when you know how to manage your money. So when the money comes in, you know how to manage your money. You know, there's this little thing that has to be fixed before I mean, they should proceed to marry you. Because the thing is that like, clearly that, because if he does, it'll be, they stay broke for all his life. So what do you think when he comes like, what, maybe 60, 65? So you're going to ask like, what the fuck? Where's all this money go? All the work that he has has done throughout his entire his entire life is gonna ask the question: Where the money go? Clearly, because he spent it. Come on. Can't even have a simple conversation about finances with me. It's always turning into I'm being money hungry. But it's like I'm realistic, bro. We need to know. No, you're not realistic. No, nah. if you are realistic, most likely you should know. There's like you got three jobs. And after you get paid, you broke. So you need like 20, 50, or 100 bucks. Clearly something is not working. Your money management skill is not working. Or maybe you don't have to see the greatness in you. That's the issue. Our budget, how much are we able to spend? Am I wrong? Right. Yeah, clearly that the thing is like, in conclusion, this is like, guys, it's pretty simple, man. If any girl, you want her to become your girlfriend, she got to go through the vetting process. If you want to know what the vetting process is, go to uh, Mr. Locario, his channel, go watch his video. He's going to explain to you what is the vetting process is. But in the vetting process, because what he didn't say in the vetting process is, make sure any girl that you're gonna, she's going to become your girlfriend, Make sure her money management skills is on top of the list. She has to have minimum ten to twenty thousand dollars on her saving account, and her credit score has to be seven twenty or above. Trust me, if you if you get those three things in line, this little thing that she's talking about, those things will not even come to you. Cause that's mean like if she could do those three things, that's mean like she has ten to twenty thousand dollars on her on, like on her saving account, and her credit score is seven twenty or above. She don't have no student loan. If she if you get those three things, that's mean she got the seed of greatness in her. That's mean she's living below her mean. So this kind of headaches that would not come to you. All right, if you're gonna do the vetting process, those three things had to be in place. All right, so that's 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 all I have for the day. For this outfit, the outfit for I mean, if you're going on a date, would you wear casual or would you wear classic to go on a date? It's your choice. All right, thanks for watching. Next time. Hey, self, adjust my frequency to ignite my energy as you. Your wish is my command.